Paris is making its final preparations for this summer's Olympic Games. Now, you remember, uh, we were in Paris just recently, where we were proud and privileged to show you the restoration of Notre Dame Cathedral. That work will be nearly complete by the time the Olympic visitors arrive in July. An impressive timeline that you'll be able to see the outline of Notre Dame, and some believed it was never going to happen, including me. A lot of people said Me? you will need 20 years Me? for for rebuild this cathedral. Me? President Macron oui? said he spoke with General Georgelin and they said we will do it in five years for 2024. And we are doing it. And we do it perfectly. Perfectly. Now, I spoke to the executive director of the International Olympic Committee, Christophe Duby, who told me. Paris is preparing to welcome half a million people. Imagine Paris center, which is four, four to five kilometers between Le Louvre and the Eiffel Tower. This is half a million people that will buy tickets and go through this uh, five kilometers on a daily basis. And depending on the competitions you have, the road closures will evolve day in, day out. So it's ironing everyone that needs to be at a given point in time from ticketed spectators to you, the representative of, of media. So it's really that volume and the level of detail that, that is uh, currently retaining our attention. In terms of security, this is the number one risk, I guess, that you have to consider at the moment. If one thing has to work, it's always safety and security of participants. And this translates into massive security plan and uh, uh, in the world we live in today, I would, I would include cyber security as well. That needs to be impeccable and very sophisticated. So all in all, yes, it is always task number one. This is where you put maximum number of resources. And of, of course, the French authorities are, are no different. I'm reading more and more articles about how AI is going to be used in the drug testing of athletes, how AI is going to be used for management of crowd, how AI this, that, and the other. For, what's your understanding of the role that AI will play in this, in this Olympics? You're right. Uh, all, all you mentioned here, AI will also help to uh, curate some of the content on, on social. We were a few weeks ago uh, with, uh, with a panel in, uh, in London discussing about mm -hmm. AI and what it can bring. And Lindsey Vaughan and, and other athletes, they spoke about their activities on social and how AI can help to uh, mitigate some of uh, the, the difficult comments that, that you have to go through when you're a public person. So that's one in the media as well, producing some short news when it's very factual. And in the future, organizing the games will look different. For sure, a number of, of areas will be helped with, uh, with AI. So we see a lot of opportunities, including, by the way, talent identification of, of athletes where based on, uh, on big data and, uh, and, and, and some AI, you can spot on talents for the future. Are you worried that the, the war in the Middle East, and of course, you've got the Russian athletes and Belarus nationals are not under their own flag, but you've got a lot of geopolitical uh, issues that could cause demonstrations, protests, and could be disruptions. What if we would look at, um, at the glass half uh, full? <laughs> and what I, what I really love in an organization like ours, which is based on simple values, because in the end, we're all about non-discrimination, friendship, respect, excellence. What if this summer we are the only event that convinces everyone in Paris, irrespective of race, religion, political system or beliefs, irrespective of passport, anyone has the right to be in Paris. These are the first Olympics, real Olympics, if you like, post-pandemic, <coughs> post-new order, post new way of thinking, got to a lot more private investment. It's almost an experiment this year. I wouldn't say it's an, it's an experiment. It was uh, a willingness expressed by us 10 years ago. So we were speaking strategies at the time, starting with the IOC president and then the whole movement behind what would be the games in the future. And it took 10 years uh, to come to fruition where indeed 
the games fully adapt to a, a city and a region and not the reverse, where the investments are, are limited and where you can also give full creativity and innovation to, uh, to the organizers. And God knows uh, the Parisians have uh, explored the French touch to, uh, to, the, to the limits.